Resist the Chattanooga choo choo. Choo choo, track 29. Hey, you can give me a shine. Can you afford who, who, to board the chat? What's up, everybody? Bad Boy D here. And yes, that was me taking a puff of a cigar. I'm not promoting smoking, but did you know that for some reason they found men that smoke tobacco, specifically cigars, have higher rates of testosterone in general. Crazy. That's what the video theme is all about. Today, we're talking about testosterone and how to boost it, herbs that are good for it, how to increase your libido, if you have erectile dysfunctions, or problems in the bedroom, if you have trouble packing on some muscle mass, stay tuned to this video. I've got a nice lean face and some chiseled abs right now. I can talk the talk because I'm walking the walk. So that's what I'm going to teach you men how to boost your testosterone. Bad Boy D TV Boost testosterone naturally Anabolic Kitchen Fast results Finishing up my last tea of the day Green tea You might be wondering What are those leaves in there? Bay leaves Bay leaves gives your tea a really nice flavor And it actually helps you absorb the nutrients in the tea great for your nerves, it's great for sleep. Try a few bay leaves in your tea, bay leaf green tea. Give it a shot, folks. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Get on with it! Like I said, today we're going to be talking about testosterone. I realize I'm a little scattered with the, my content releases. Long story short, I will be releasing a specific rollout schedule where I'll have specific days for specific themed videos. So please, any of my consistent viewers, please stay tuned for that. So this video is mostly about testosterone. My channel is mostly for men. However, my demographics do indicate that I have some female viewers and subscribers. So for any females that may be watching this, a lot of these things you can implement for yourself also. They won't raise your testosterone, and if they do, it will be in a good way where it'll get your libido going a little bit. And it will balance your hormones. So any of these practices I'm showing you here today, it's more than safe for women to try too. Oh, I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it! Let's get back to the men. Let's get back to the subject of testosterone. Speaking of scattered, I've got shit scattered all over the place right here on the table in front of me. I just pull the little knowledge nuggets out of my brain as I go. So what I'm gonna go over first is the things that I'm gonna be putting into, this is an empty container of taurine. Taurine is excellent for men and women. I decided to use this empty container for the powders. I will powder concoction I'll be putting together here. Got the AMS hand rub going. Something therapeutic about that hand rub, baby. First on the list here for the powder I will be creating, I've got Carmadin. I don't ever know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Carmadin, it's got a really uh, pungent odor. It's a very nice uh, spice and it's it recycles a lot of antioxidants in your body it has a lot of antioxidants in it so carmadin it has been proven to boost test but some research would probably indicate that it does also I got here some ginger powder Gender has actually been studied to increase testosterone. It was a Middle Eastern country, I forget which one. It raised testosterone in the men over several weeks. I think it was 17 something percent. And it raised their luteinizing hormone by 40 something percent, which is crazy. 
and ginger has all kinds of other health benefits. It's good for your digestion, it's good for inflammation, it, it can get rid of nausea. Ginger is really uh, one of nature's uh, wonder drugs. Recently, a research made in Ginger for Sexuality Drive shows that ginger has the ability to raise the amount of testosterone by initiating the sex organs to produce more than the ordinary level. Also, what I'll be putting in my concoction is turmeric. I've mentioned turmeric many times on my other videos, and turmeric is an excellent spice for inflammation. It's been shown to be more effective than Prozac for depression. And turmeric ha does have an effect on androgens, apparently. I can't cite the study off the top of my head, but turmeric is going into my concoction. Water-soluble derivative of curcumin is better than Viagra and Cialis, Sildenafil and Tadanafil, in treating erectile dysfunction. Curcumin can protect the testis from damage caused by torsion and loss of blood supply. Also, cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, there has been studies done that men who eat more spicy food have higher testosterone levels. I don't know whether it's the fact that they're more adventurous and daring and brave or whatever the case may be. Maybe that has something to do with the cigar thing too, that guys who are a little more reckless and shit like that have high testosterone anyways. Time for action. <laughs> Cayenne is an excellent fat burning food. Since I'm plugging cayenne, it is in one of my top 10 belly fat burning food videos. You can check that out right there. Please, please, please watch my videos. Last but not least, I have here basil leaves. Got two bags of them suckers. Basil, Tulsi. This, uh, this is the sweet basil variety. Holy basil you can get at the health food store. Holy basil has similar but a little bit different properties than basil. I would say holy basil is a little more potent than this stuff. Obviously you can buy at the grocery store. I'll be putting all of these together, not gonna bore you and show that process, into this container. And before my meals, I am gonna take a scoop of it and swig it down with some water. That can be extremely dangerous, folks. It's like doing the cinnamon challenge. I've perfected that art. Swallow, swallow, swallow. <laughs> <laughs> you spit it out. Swallow it. <laughs> I'm not expecting you to do that, that specific practice. You can implement these foods more in your diet. Ginger can go in almost anything, beef, chicken, whatever. Same with basil, goes great in pasta sauces, cayenne. It's not hard to implement these suckers into your daily diet, which I do anyways. Other options you can get yourself, like ginger tea. There's ginger lemon tea you can purchase. Fresh ginger. The options are endless. Since we're in my kitchen, this is basically my testosterone factory. All kinds of test boosting foods in here. Maca powder, organic maca powder. It's a root vegetable. And it has a lot of the benefits that cruciferous vegetables would have. It's very high in minerals. And it hasn't been proven to raise testosterone levels, but it is good for stress. It's an adaptogen. So it helps your body adapt to stress, it lowers your cortisol level. So anything that does that is basically a natural test booster. As long as you take maca, you're going to get the natural adaptogenic nourishing benefits from this wonderful root vegetable and root herb. Something else we got here is we got some pine pollen. Pine pollen is an excellent source of natural androgens. It actually is one of the only plants that have been found to actually have testosterone in it. Pine pollen has testosterone in it. I'm going to put a link down below for a great pine pollen that you can get on Amazon. I think it's going to be the next big thing in the future. I'm really looking forward to the possible results of pine pollen. <laughs> <laughs>
What else do I got in this testosterone factory? Figs. Figs are a great food. Full of vitamins and minerals. Fiber. I would definitely put figs in the category of a test boosting food. Oh, one turn down. If you ever go to an ethnic store, one of them little Chinese shops, stock up, you can get them by the box of a hundred. A little ginseng packets, man, ginseng. That's a, that's a libido boosting herb. That's an herb that'll get you going a little bit. Ginseng's been used for thousands of years. Once again, stress, energy, and it's adaptogen like maca. I sing a song from Sing Sing, sipping on Jing Sing, practice wax, chaperone, roll. You can get like little ginseng green tea blends. Chamomile flowers, oh yeah. You can usually get some cheap chamomile flower tea anyways. It has a compound in it called apigenin, I believe it's pronounced. It's a bioflavonoid and it actually reduces estrogen in the body. It's an aromatase inhibitor. It decreases the amount of testosterone that gets converted to estrogen. Hot sauce! I've got hot sauce galore. I've got varieties of hot sauce. There's some sriracha hot sauce. This shit is the bomb. And old baby Costco, they sell the big daddy, the 40 of the hot sauce. I've been doing shots of the hot sauce. I don't drink, so I've been drinking hot sauce. Going right in the pantry. I got nothing to hide, people. So what we got here is some sumac powder. And on the antioxidant index, it's like kaboom. It's like right at the top. Like I think there's something beneath it. Like it's got like five times more antioxidants than oregano. Sumac powder, man. Get that shit in you. Olive oil. You gotta have all kinds of olive oil. I got this motherfucker right here. Olive oil, excellent source of omega-9. <laughs> you always gotta have all kinds of herbs and spices. Herb up and spice up your food, man. Bad, it's like battery charging your body. I'm not a vegan, but you gotta get some of them plant compounds in you, too. I don't care what them carnivores say, that plants are toxic. You need those toxins in you. These are our drugs. You don't take prescription drugs. These are our drugs. Always have some Himalayan salt. I've been fasting for most of the day. When you get those hunger pangs, you want to make sure you're hydrated with lots of tea. I drink green tea to curb my appetite. I've got all kinds of green tea here. But if you're feeling a little bit hungry, make sure you stay hydrated. Take a little pinch of salt. That'll curb your hunger. I'm hungry. fasting or daily fasting, you don't have to set a clock, but just go as long as you can without having to eat, and you're not going to lose muscle mass. And I'm in the best shape of my life for fasting, and you can be too if you do it. DO IT! JUST DO IT! Some ghee, which is clarified butter, it's like concentrated butter, man, full of CLA, nothing will boost your testosterone more than ghee butter. Guys, make sure your pantry is stocked with good, wholesome foods. And you never know what's gonna happen. If there's a disaster, you gotta be stocked up on food. Fuck. Police department, search warrant! Police department, search warrant! Ah, hey, hey! Hey, fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Police department, search warrant! Yeah, you gotta have all kinds of stacks of tuna. I've got bags of quinoa. Olive oil till the fucking I gotta fill a bathtub with olive oil, but I ain't because I'm gonna consume it or save it. Nuts, dried fruit, I've got dried cranberries up in here, goji berries, pecans, pumpkin seeds. <laughs> mustard, all kinds of mustard, any kinds of mustard is an amazing thing to have. It actually helps your body absorb the nutrients in broccoli and cruciferous vegetables. Black-eyed peas and fava beans, the only legumes I'll consume. Maple syrup. Fuck, I'm Canadian, eh? 
rice pasta, much easier to digest than wheat pasta. You can get the thin ones in like the uh, Asian section of your grocery store, but anything rice is a lot easier to digest than wheat. While you sit on top of your moral high ground made out of rice flour. Did you know now they're putting gluten in potato chips? I didn't know that. Glad I'm informed. You can find all kinds of treasures in the Asian section. This is a stragglers root. I break these up and pop them into my tea. Amazing for your adrenal glands, your immune system. It warms up your body during these cold winter months. The stragglers root. You can get it in the capsules too. Cinnamon. It almost acts like insulin in your body. It gives your body a break from pushing out all that insulin. It really taxes your body having to make insulin when you eat so much, so many carbohydrates. You can sprinkle it in your coffee when you're fasting. Mm -mm -mm. And like in my freezer, I've got all kinds of frozen lamb and animal bones for bone broths. Fridge, I've got all kinds of eggs, grapefruit juice, beef and chicken that I'm ready to cook. You should be having whole foods, good foods in your body. And like I tell people time and time again, it's as simple as out of sight and out of mind. If you don't have the junk food here, it's not going to be consumed. I told a friend of mine, if you have company over, they're shit out of luck. So that's how you roll. You don't keep the shit in your house. If I have a date, I tell the girl she can bring booze here. I don't keep booze in my house. All right, guys, that was a bit of a tangent. Because you're drinking a bunch of beer and soda and you're eating a bunch of processed junk and no real food. And I almost forgot about the apple cider vinegar. That's one of the reasons I got my abs too. Before I go to bed, I usually only consume my carbs before I go to bed but I'll pour some apple cider vinegar in my nice carbohydrate filled cup of fruit juice. I know what you drink. See how quiet I got. <laughs> Grape juice, surprise. Full of pomegranate juice, cranberry juice, and blueberry juice. Damn, you guys should see all the shit in front of me now that I gotta put away. Jeez. Got a wide selection of herbal teas here, rose hip, cumin, all kinds of Asian ginsengs, ginger sage, lemon verbena, mangosteen, noni, reishi. This is the kind of shit you gotta have in your house. People lecture me about smoking cigars. I do no fap, I don't drink, I don't consume any junk food. Let me have my cigar. In peace. Congratulations, you just finished a whole section. That's a great victory, and you should celebrate. So let me know in the comments section, guys, if there is one habit you would either like to change or implement in your life for health, what would it be? Think about it. Take a long, hard look at yourself and think, what should I stop doing in my life right now that would benefit me? Or what should I implement in my life that would benefit me? Leave it in the comments and let me see if I can help. Hell, maybe I'll shoot a video about it. This is Bad Boy D TV. Let the good father above be with you all. Check out my latest video right here and subscribe to my channel right there. Peace. Ooh, ba, ba, ba. And you're a boy. Ooh, ooh, the boy the Chattanooga choo choo. Ooh, ooh. I've got my fair. Ba, 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 and just a trifle to spare.